there are three basic classes of jet ski. There's the familiar sit-down model. Big, solid, great for cruising. The sporty stand-up model, designed for extreme tricks, but not something you master on vacation. Then there's this guy. A prototype called the Samba. Inspired by race bikes, it's one of the fastest jet skis on water. With radical features that lets a beginner ride like a pro. Let's see how it works. To make a jet ski maneuver like this without trashing its driver, you got to respect the laws of hydrodynamics. That's why the Samba is built super light. Only 90 kilograms. So it gets up to speed in a heartbeat. This other beast weighs over three times more and has to push a lot more water out of the way getting up to speed. Add a top-of-the-line custom engine to the Samba and you've got a machine with a crazy power-to-weight ratio advantage. To see what powers a jet ski, take a look at this rocket, demonstrating that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And all jet skis are water rockets. Push a stream of water one way, the machine goes the other. Its powerful water jet is driven by an impeller, which is pretty much a propeller jammed into a tube. Impellers take water in through a wide opening and force it out through a smaller one. This creates what's called a Venturi effect, where low pressure water behind the impeller pulls more water towards the blades, increasing its speed. And when moving, extra water is rammed into the housing through a scoop maximizing the jet effect. At its top speed, the Samba spits out enough water to fill your bathtub in half a second. The impeller is powered directly by the engine. But after several years and a few blown engines, Samba's designers discovered that speed wasn't just about engine power. It's about how the machine contacts water. So, they came up with a radical new hull shape for a smoother, lower friction ride and allows them to easily hit speeds over 60 miles per hour. All right, it's skinny and fast, but a low friction ultralight body and a powerful engine are one thing. Controlling them, another. The designers wanted much tighter handling than other machines. All jet skis turn the same way. The steering works by changing the direction of the water jet from side to side. But it's not enough to get you doing this. Or this. Leaning on one of these won't do much. This machine outweighs the driver four to one. But the Samba weighs about the same as its rider. So you change its angle of attack with a simple body leap. In this position, the driver's center of gravity is the area framed between his shoulders, hips, knees, and extended wrists. And this sweet spot gives you maximum control over the machine for tricks and turns. But even the perfect weight ratio and a low center of gravity won't make it easy to do spins like this. With its new hull, the Samba's been overcoming friction for maximum speed. Now, to spin some real tricks, it wants all that friction back. And it does it with these wings that stay out of the water until you lean into them. Then they catch. 
This creates so much friction, it turns the water into a fixed point around which the machine rotates. It's a bit like pitching a pole into the ground and spinning around it. A natural move for the next generation of jet skis. Just don't take it too far. Or on second thought, go ahead. You don't need to be a pro to rock this machine. A low-slung driver position, radical hull design with lots of speed and control. Which is why you may see a lot more of this machine on the water. If you see it at all.